Welcome to Database, the amateur pseudo dating show made to help you find your perfect research match. Let's meet today's candidate, a librarian from Washington, D.C. with a knack for collecting historical documents, the Library of Congress. At first glance, the Library of Congress may seem complex, but once you get to know them, you will find out that they have more to offer than any other database, because it's more than just that. It's the largest library in the world. It's the Library of Congress. Looking at the resources provided by the Library of Congress, we see that they range from audio recordings to 3D objects, but today we're going to be focusing on digital collections. And within digital collections, there are a variety of subjects and topics that you can explore. But unlike a traditional database, the Library of Congress holds mainly primary sources ranging from specific events to specific people and even specific time periods. Let's take a closer look at a collection and see what it has to offer. Right away, we see that it lists the number of items in the collection so that you don't have to guess. Under articles and essays, some collections, such as this one, will have a timeline showing all the events that happened surrounding a specific figure or time period, making the Library of Congress contextual, allowing us to easily follow the events that happened during this time. The collection items are accessible we can see that all of the resources are organized so that they can easily be accessed by the category you are looking for. And since the Library of Congress holds a lot of resources, this is a really helpful tool to be able to narrow your research. If we take a closer look at one of the documents, we can actually see some of the neat features that the Library of Congress has to offer. One of my favorite details is the variety Library of Congress offers. You can actually choose the format and size in which you would like to download your document. Not many databases have this option. Also, if you scroll to the bottom, there are multiple citation styles for you to choose from, ranging from Chicago to MLA, generated to save you time. Why waste your time when the Library of Congress can do it for you? These aren't the only things that the Library of Congress has to offer. There is much more. Is the Library of Congress your perfect match?